nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Three seconds into flight. Under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for bucket. maximum dynamic pressure. Power telemetry are nominal. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle supersonic. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. <laughs> Trajectory looking good. You can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chilling of the MVAC D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Second load limiting shutdown. Continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration on the Falcon Heavy structure. Coming up on booster engine cutoff called BECO and separation of the two side boosters. And back engine chill. BECO. Separation Successful separation, if you can hear me over the cheering. Side booster is now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event, main engine cutoff, cutoff center of course, the separation confirmed. <laughs> Again, over the cheering, MVAC-D engine up on power. It looks good. Side boosters looking good, still burning on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Grid fins are out on the center core. Fairing separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. We also have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. Side booster entry burn has started. And there's the re-entry burn beginning. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the reentry burn is complete for the side boosters. Now coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its reentry burn.
Stage one, entry burn has started. Side boosters are transonic. And there you can see the re-entry burn for Center Core has begun. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side booster's landing burn will begin as well. Confirmation of ignition. We are up at the desired power. Tank pressure looks good. The turbine temps look good. And back ignition. Confirmation of ignition. We are up at the desired power. Tank pressure looks good. The turbine temps look good. You may have seen just before ignition, the large white fluffy pieces moving away. That is solid oxygen. The stuff you breathe, it's so cold that it's solid, but it is not very dense, it's very fluffy, and it is actually attached to one of the liquid oxygen overboard drain lines that we use. So coming off is normal. Now this burn is about an 85 second burn. In that time, we'll add 2,800 meters per second to our velocity. That's more than the side boosters provided early in flight almost as much as what the center core gave us. We've throttled down the engine to keep accelerations below the limit for our AeroSat customer. Everything continues to look good. The views of the nozzle of the upper stage engine coming from two SpaceX cameras on either side of the second stage. Continuing to throttle down, and we have shut down. And back shut down. Right now we're waiting to hear what the final orbit looks like. Nominal orbit insertion. Guidance engineer over one of the nets announced nominal orbit insertion. Right where we want to be, we're on a path that'll take us almost 90,000 kilometers Currently up above the Currently the camera view has switched forward looking at the Arabsat 6A spacecraft. And if you've just joined us now, you've missed a great day. Both side boosters landed at the Cape. Center core landed, second stage right in the desired orbit. And now we're waiting for separation. Spacecraft separation confirmed. As you can tell behind me, the folks have watched the mission cheering. Arabsat 6A headed away into the desired orbit, doing its mission in space. That puts a capper on what's been a completely normal day here at SpaceX. And with that, that brings our webcast to a close. Thanks to our customer Arabsat for entrusting us with tonight's mission. Thank you to.